usual warm up, then uh, some basics, blocks, uh, and basic kicks. Uh, then we'll be moving on to stance work, so working front stance, back stance, horse riding stance, just holding it for a little bit so we can get the right feel. Um, then um, we're going to work some combinations, uh, again working through sort of the um, higher section of combinations. Uh, so I'm going to sort of demonstrate, so try and do as much as you can on the spot. If you have ability to move forward, move forward. Um, uh, trying to think what else, what else have I got on my list up here. Um, oh, we're going to work through Sardan today. Okay, again, I know a lot of you know it, but we'll be able to go through it uh, in a lot more detail. Um, uh, and then uh, I'm going to do one exercise for the gut grade fitness test, and then we'll do one exercise for the down grade fitness test. So we're going to do the hold your leg up round us kicks. I've got certain numbers, so I'm not sitting here for two minutes, depending if people are exercising or not. Depending on your age is the amount of round us kicks you'll get. Uh, and then on the calisthenics, uh, so the downgrading, we're all going to have a minute and a half, two push-ups, two sit-ups, two burpees, and go through like that. Uh, and then uh, it'll just be a bit of a stretch off at the end, and getting ready to go. So, uh, ooh, hello Amanda, hello Ken, hello Becky, hello, hello Charlotte, okay. Um, right then, so as we've got a few people online, I'm sure some pe more people have joined in, uh, and it's coming up to five past, we'll get started, so... Right, let's get warmed up first of all. So, oh, I won't go that far. So on your toes, hopefully you can hear me all right. Again, I'm using just my phone today, so uh, I'm not too sure how it's coming across. Again, just a little snuff, and then off, especially if you've been sitting out all day. Now, knees up, chopping those arms. Kicks the legs to the back. Knees up, legs to the back, twist. Knees up, legs to the back, twist, arms forwards, and backwards, arms out to the skipping, so we've got a really wide skipping rope, transfer one foot to the other now, getting that weight across, arms the other way, chin down, push forwards, Punch you up, punch you down, okay now a little bit faster, knees up, fix the back, twist, fix the back, twist, knees up, twist, knees up, twist, fix the back, okay I'll shake that off quickly, 10 push ups to start there, let's count them off, you can do them on your knees if you need to, Okay, remember keep your back straight, breathe on the way out, on the way down, and in the way up. So, count them up. Okay, one, two, three, four, remember four inch motion, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. On to your back, sit ups. Remember, feet apart, here, chin on chest, so your head's up, lower back flat, hands here, touch the bottom of your kneecaps, go one. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Up you get. Squat so we can work the legs and the hips, get nice warm. Make sure knees stay over toes, back up straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, back up to your toes. And he's only need to get some drink, get yourself a drink. Okay, ready, right, one knee. So I'm gonna go my right leg first, up to my shoulder. I'm gonna chop down my arms so those you see the explosive kicking drill. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one the other, so alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get a little shake off. Okay, we should be feeling very warm now, so I'm going to do some movement exercises. We're going to practice our pivots, first of all, okay, and rotating the hips. So knees up, out to the side, down. Other leg. Knees up, out to the side, down. 
And again, keep it going. Four more. Two more. Good. Right, let's shake it off. Now pivot it for rounds. Keep your guard up. Hands relaxed relax though. You're not sparring, so you don't have to go super tense or anything. Okay, now bring the knee up in front of the floor. So you turn as far as you can. Bring it back. Okay? Now I'm going to count off 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Now if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can go one, switch, two. Nice crunch. Three. Okay? For you younger guys, let me just work one side. Okay, so you can do as fast and slow as you like. Okay, so we're doing 10 side, 20 in total. Ready? So knee up, one. Turn that foot. Two. Really concentrate on that foot. Three. Four. So I'm going to put tip toe and twist it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and ten, and we're going forward. Other leg, same thing. So we get that foot to turn. One, two, three, four. So I'm just taking this knee straight to the same shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10, and down. Okay, shake it off. Now, side kicks, I'm gonna do this one facing you. So, right knee this time, it's gonna cr come across. Okay, now those of you who've seen it, walk the toes in front of my knee. Okay, and then I'm trying to turn it sideways there. Foot's turning the other way, bring it back. Same thing, <coughs> going for 10, ready? So, right leg again if you want to, in, back, switch. In, back, switch. Okay, that's for a bit more people who are sort of higher grades that can switch the feet quickly. Ready, so right knee first, going across to my left. One, arms are tight, look where we're going. Two, three, four, five, six. And if you want to hold on the side, do this, you can. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Other leg, so switch the other leg back. Same thing, left knee's coming across to the right. Keep my head forwards, body up straight. One, turn that foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm back, shake that off. Right then, now we're going to go into doing four kicks. Again, we want to start with round our kicks first. Okay, so as I do this, again, the important thing is I want to get my foot turned and the leg straight as it comes out. Okay, I don't want to just turn my foot and the kick goes to there. It's no good, but also I don't want a leg straight that way with a foot facing this way. Hips don't like it. Okay, this time just five each leg. Five right, five left. Same as before. You can kick, return, switch, or you can kick, return, use the same leg. If you need to hold on to something, to be available to hold, go for it. Ready, go for my right leg first. One, two. Again, your arm kicking high, you can always kick low. Three. Four and five. Switch legs. Same thing with the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Back, shake it off. Last one then. Side kicks. Again, good, no good practice. We're working side on today. So there's two side kicks right in that form. So, knee up and out. If you find the turn psychic where you're working difficult, start cycles on, bring your feet together, bring it up, pivot your foot, extend out, in and down. Or, obviously, the harder one, in and back. 
Ready? Five each leg. One. And pull it across. Two. Three. Four. That's one. Five. Switch legs. One. Two. Again, height doesn't matter. Keep down here. Three. Don't get straight. Four. Bob your foot going towards it. And five. Shake it up. Get some drink. Let's have a look who's here. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Darlene from America. How you doing? Okay. I don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, that broke. I have to use my phone. My tablet's not working at all. Hello. Hello, Haley. Mr. Kelly from Wales. Hello, sir. Owen. Hello, Tracy. Richie. Master Kumar. Thank you for joining me, sir. Miss Leader. Again, I think you've been promoted now. You might be Master Leader. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Mr. Knowles. Abby Taylor, long time MC. Hello, Vicky. Hello, sir, Master Rigby. Well, I've got loads of people watching it. Okay, it's brilliant. Okay, I'll be there all day. Okay, those this. So, again, next bit now. Okay, we do a bit of stretching, so we're not going to pull anything, especially at my age. I pull stuff all the time. So, we start feet apart. Okay, you reach forward nice and lightly. Just go little bounces if you want. If you want to hold it, you can hold it. Okay, coming up. Turn to the side, down, up, other side, and up, hand the back there, and going through, so you can see, you can see, you just go in here, and going forward, if you want a little bit of a bounce, you can have a little bit of a bounce, okay, once more, forward, up, back, up, down to one side, up, over to the side, come up, here and there. Again, I'm not going to hold these too long. That's right. There. I'm going to drop down. Knees over toes. Try and get me feel planted. Little, foot to the, little toes to the floor. Body up straight if I can. If I need to look, hands down, go for that. Okay, switch sides. Again, see so I change my foot. Get my knee in line. Little toes to the floor. Switch. And switch. Again, if you want to make any of these harder for yourself, so you want to make it up to here, or start doing the drops, you can do as well. Okay, right. Foot out, get a little bit hamstrings. Again, I like to lean this way. If you want to lean towards the foot, absolutely fine. So breathe in. Breathe out. There. If you want to make this harder, I can lift it to get a bit more through the back of my knee and hamstring. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Again, think about my chest coming down, not just my head. One more, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, other leg, same thing. Reach from here. Again, if you can't reach the foot, just keep yourself the straight. Remember, you're bending from your hips, not from your neck. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, I forgot to lift my leg. One more, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, right, give that a quick shake off. And there. Okay, just gonna do a little bit of stretching so I won't be here too long working out. Right, so stances first of all. Okay, we'll work stances because they apply to everything else we do, so we start with good form. This should help you stick through your way through it. So, front stance. What you're gonna do is make your front stance. So I'll show you sideways on profile first. All my toes facing forwards. I don't want it too wide, like this. Okay, because it's gonna make that hip drop forward, it's gonna overload the hip. If you're going through here, so my weight is going straight down, my body's up straight. So look at the angle. There, this goes backwards, that one's going forwards. My front knee should be bent enough that when I'm up straight here, and I look down, I'm going to do that. If I look down, use my eyes, I can't see my toes. If I just do that a little bit, now I can see my toes. It's no good. Okay? So, make sure that knee's bent enough to see that there. If you want to make your stance longer, make sure that if that foot's going back, you can see, hopefully see the jigsaw line here. My foot goes back this way. Don't want to go, start going wider to make it lower. Keeping that position there. Now, if I need to, you can practice 
your basics from this spot, this spot, or just keep yourself up straight, okay? If you feel this here, so you have a bit of tension this way, and your hip is really tight, shorn up a little bit, and then push your knee forwards, okay? So you've got most of the weight you should feel on this front leg, okay? And we'll track back, so it's from the front, again, to help my hips work, I always want to move my foot in the semicircle. Tiptoes, out and forwards, okay? We're working for a blocking position, my hips are square. Remember, blocks, hips pointing this way, so both my hips point there. Punch, and I'm all good, so I'm striking. Again, range, blocking close. So front knee bent, I can't see, look from here, I'm looking down, can't see my toes. Toes are all facing forward, so I've got, I haven't got the duck, what we call duck foot, going this way, so you put them loading the knee, this way here, and I set up there. Come in, then circle out, other leg, same thing. Okay, body up straight, knees in the front there, weight through, I'm looking down, I can't see my toes. Okay, so this is the, the right position. Again, for competition, you may want to go low, but make sure you keep the form, and you never foot shuffling. So what I mean by that is, is I'm going to a good long stance here, but in order to do my next step, I have to go back and go forwards. Even if I push my stance, I've got a grip with my front toes, pull it in, and I'll stay there. Again, I'm not coming up, and going down. If I've set the stance this high here, I've got to imagine the roots there, and I'm going to come in and go out, maintaining that. And again, toes still going forwards. Okay? So that's how you should work your front stance. Back stance, a lot harder. Okay? So what I need to do, I'm going to bring my foot in, but I'm going to do it to the front actually. Okay? I'm going to go left leg forward first as we do in most of line work. Bring it in, I look, my foot turns out. So this left foot, my left hand side, comes in and my right foot turns out. So I have this sort of L stance here. And again, I don't want to stick my butt out. If I want to go forwards, I'll be in this weird angle. Body is in the worst state straight. So I come in, foot goes forwards. And again, to avoid too much resistance, I'm going to keep my foot flat. Tiptoes, slide out. Drop my heel to plant, and here. Weight on my back leg, everything's in line. And now my shoulder should be aligned at this point here. So it's a defensive position, okay? So I need to be more in line. If I'm out like this, unless the form dictates it, then I'm open. So I'm getting in that position there. So again, foot goes in, foot turns. Knees bent, so my weight's going through. So if I look, legs locked, and I drop, my weight's going to go forwards. And you'll see why in a second. Here, toes out, drop it, sink my knees. Now the weight should be here, look. You pick that leg up. So most of my weight is on this leg. Not all of it. Most of it. Okay, so this leg, look, can't pick that up. So from the side, I turn, okay, I'm looking at where I'm going. Foot turns out. Foot goes forwards, drop my weight down, in line. Toe, knee, hip, shoulder. I don't want to have this, I don't want to have that, okay? You think about how awkward that looks up this way here, okay? Our particular style, we have a foot flat, but remember, there's the fire stance that a lot of Tansudo has. Heel up, okay? So the 18 main, we have the heel down. So this way here, gets in line. If you look, you can see my Adidas symbol here. If I start turning my body, look, I'm hiding from you now, now I'm too square. That way there, okay? So it's a good way to practice and get that feeling. So I should have this leg here. So just the other side. Left foot turns out here, soften my knees, and then my foot goes forwards. Sit back, this way. A good way to practice it to make your weight go to the right leg Okay, I don't mean just the right leg, on the right side, okay? It's to go backwards with it. So if you're just practicing your back stance, in and step back. Weight on the back leg, then. So I'm forcing the weight to go backwards. I know with a lot of the line work, we go forwards. Okay, for those who remember the Korean Hu Jin, going backwards in line work, here. So it's a good way to practice it. So I go here, put my foot in, that's already pointing forwards. Now it's a common problem when people go to a back stance, we do this, off the side. Bring it in and go back. Now it's in line. My weight's on my back leg, look, and my body's in line. It's a good way to practice it. Come forwards, step in, come back. Come forwards, step in, go back. You notice how I bring my foot in to encourage to keep my feet in line. The minute that happens, that's sacro jasse with the gap. Okay? Different stance. Back stance, in and back there. Okay, right, now horse run stance. 
Okay, I have my own personal method of doing it because it's the same knees. Okay, so I go here, toes slightly out, knees out here, and I push my butt out. So I have a very good force. So at the minute you can't see this, but my weight's through there and everything's in line. Now traditionally, I have to keep my toes forward, come out, push my knees out over my toes this way here. Okay, but the weight trainer of me and the form is just my personal thing. So you can either do either one of these, so toes forward to that position there, and my body, body up straight, I'm going to not leaning, not leaning back, not to the side, that way there. Now from the side, so you can see it, I'm going to go to here, out, body's up, and look, this bit's here, I'm not getting this curve, okay? You have to engage your dungeon, okay, but it sh should be engaged not to the point where you're pushing your butt forward, okay? That's a tension, you don't hold tension, you tense for a second, relax. So I'm relaxing this position here and up. Okay, so remembering that, we're gonna move straight on to the uh, basics now. So remember those different stances, the little things. Front stance, knee forward, knee over toe, all toes going that way. Back stance, weight on your back leg, feet in line, front toes pointing straight forward. Horse riding stance, weight in the center, hips pushed out, so they keep your posture up, core engaged. So what I mean by that for you younger guys is tense, you're squeezing. Okay, but not squeezing so much, it's, it's, it's working, okay, but it's not working 100%. So, powerful kick. So my left leg's gonna step across, left hand's gonna punch. I'm gonna load, step up, and punch. <laughs> 10 punches, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Back to Right, I'm gonna do some basics. So I'm gonna step back so you can see my feet properly. Again, as before, you can keep moving up and down. If you've got space to work, you haven't, it's the step and return. So we're doing low block first of all. Left arm, 10 of them, ready. One side of the other, so left hand, right hand. Left, same arm and leg forwards, ready. One, return. Two, three, four. I have taken my foot. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now step forward, front punch. You need to load, bring the foot in, drive forward. I'm punching midsection to my midsection. Okay, not joint midsection, not obviously short person midsection. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. High block. So remember, I need to cover, block my arms underneath and above my head. Keeping my stance, all toes going forward, spare head, fist at the side, all the way back, little fingers. Okay, ready? Left arm first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm back, hopefully. I was on seven, so I'm going to seven again. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inside to out, so recovery, pop through, and there. So we're blocking the post of the face, it's got a circle round. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. And back. Good. Right. Knife hands. We're going to do low knife hand and midsection knife hand today. Just what I did last time. So we're going to go one direction the other. Slightly slower this time because it's not like a big blast session. So I'm going to chamber. Left leg, left hand by my right ear. Right hand on the belt or behind. I'm stepping out. Jump. And then I'm going to switch. Look. Weights here. I'm going to push. Look. Turn my foot to the face in the same direction. I'm back. Okay? I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. Ready? So, low knife on starting to your left, first of all. 1, look, 2, look, 3, look, 4, look, 5, look, 6, look, 7, look, 8, look, 9, and 10. Back to Now midsection knife hand. So we go from here, my right hip, 
left legs forward, and I chop out. So I make a triangle on the hip, thumbs touching, those two fingers touching, chopping out. Spare hand is here, it's called the solar plexus. Not sure where that is. You've got your stern hard bit, and I'm resting my hand at the front, thumbs towards you. Okay, it should be pointed away, I should have this way, so palm down, palm up. And it goes out and I block here. Edge of my hand and my wrist is blocking, elbows protecting the ribs, so I don't want that. I don't want this. Okay, I'll protect my ribs and I'll left my face open. So, again, 10. One, two, switch, three, four, five, six. Now, as I look before I turn, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And cool. Now, next one. I'm going to look at my list. Okay, front kick and roundhouse kick. Okay? So, oh, sorry, I'm a bit too simple. We need front kick. Okay? So I'm going to bring my knee up and front kick forwards. Now, look at the position I bring my foot, turn it slightly out to help my hips. Guard up, so I'm not down your arms here, and I don't want this either. Up, kick forward. Again, height, it's either midsection or high section. Okay, so just think about the choice here. I'm trying to hit with the ball of the foot, so I'm not kicking to the groin, so I'm not flicking up. I'm driving forwards to hit the body straight or hit underneath the chin. Ready? So, I'm going to do five on one leg, switch to do five on the other. So, right leg first. One, two, now reach out, try and reach the side down. Three, Four and five. Okay, I'm going to turn. Left leg. You can just switch on the spot. Ready? Left leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Right. Now, step side kick. So, this is going to give me the option to go either way there. If you can't fit it in, you can't fit it in, just do one step. And then go through. So I'm stepping behind. Legs relaxed. I'm not super low. Okay. Here. So I've got a bit of movement in my feet. My non-kicking foot. So the one that steps. Steps behind. My body stays up straight. So from this angle. Look. There. It is not there. Okay. Getting lower does not make your knee get higher. Okay. It's higher on you. But not higher in the kick. Body's up straight. Here tight. Okay. And step. To bring my knee up. So we're going to step through, okay, left leg behind, right knee up, there, then I'm going to drive my leg out, straight kicks is the priority, not height, no point being up there, but kicks like this, okay, so ready, I'm going to go one direction there, and the two, so I'm going to go my right leg there, and left leg this way, so one, land, look, step behind, two, turn, three, turn, four, Turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight, nine, that's it, last one, ten, and there we go. Step hook kick, so in the grading, this comes straight afterwards. Same step, this way, so the foot's going through, look at my toe, towards this direction. And this is where it gets hard, when you get my feet in line, then hook round. There's two ways to do it. If you are flexible, you bring your foot up and snap it in and around. Look how bounce it back, put it back in line. If you're not so flexible, you get to here on the point of the toe and go round. So a lot less work on your hip to get that position there. So it's almost like an inside to outside kick with my foot sideways. Again, body's up straight. I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm not doing that. So from here, hook it, gets in line, flick in at the end. Or toe up, circle round. So I'm using more here, less with my hamstring. So same thing. One that way, two that way. Right leg, left leg. So do a so step behind. Pick my knee up, bring it round. One, land. Look, step behind. Two, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five. Down six, down seven, down eight, turn nine, last one, ten, come back. Okay, well, get yourself a drink if you need to. Hope you're all still here watching. 
Hello, it's Greg Emmons. How are you doing, sir? Uh, right then, some combos. Have you got a drink in your cupboard? Again, if you find that when I'm over talking or get some of a drink, if you want to stretch off or keep practicing something until I come back, please do. Right then, let's look at the combos. What have we got first of all? Okay, high block, high reverse punch. Okay, so I'm chambering. Bump. Now look, when I finish, I can point towards you and the back of the room. So I've got that rotation to go through, so I've got maximum range of the punch. When my hips go square, I have a shorter punch, so I'm losing that range. I'm going to punch through the target, not to it. So, left leg, one step, high block, I pull in, and reverse punch at the same time to get that reactive force to pulling in. Ready, let's go, one, back, other side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Again, I'm not key up afterwards, you can key up if you like. It's hard for me to count and key up, otherwise I'll have no puff left. Right then, double arm block, double punch. So it's more senior thing. You'll see this in down gradings and higher section. Punch, reverse punch. So I'm going from double arm block here, I pull back and punch. I'm getting that twist, then my hips are going to go square and slightly rotate to reverse punch midsection and come back. So again, left hand, one, two, three, and back. Then I'm going to the other side. Go to my left hip, right foot goes out, one, punch the face, punch the body, and back. Going for ten again. Ready? One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And back. Cool. Down. Sure. Let's check in time. Doing alright. Okay, now moving on to some kicks. If you've trained with me before, you've done this kick probably a million times. Combo. Roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick. One of my favourites. So the important thing with this one, I'm going to show you sideways so you can see the feet. Roundhouse kick up from the back leg and bring it close. Common issue people have with the kick and dead foot here. Now I have to throw the hook kick from there all the way around to get this. And the head drops down to all over the place. So I'm going to kick, up, pivot, land. Look, foot goes backwards, I'm going to extend, kick round, back to position. So again, right leg, left leg. So it's back leg, goes into the front. This is now my back leg. I look first. I want my body to turn. I'm looking as far as I can. Keep my arms in tight. Hook kick round in position. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go forwards, watch. Right leg, left leg. One, two, turn, then left leg. Right leg, turn. Now, some of you will be able to spin like this, no problem at all, I won't get dizzy. Some of you will get dizzy. So, if I'm counting to ten, if you only want to do five, that's completely fine. Okay, so ready. So right leg back. Round our spinning hook kicks. So right leg then spinning left leg. One. Turn. Two. Bounce. Turn. Three. Turn. Four. Turn. Five. Turn. Six. Turn. Seven. Turn it again. Eight. Nine. And ten. And back to the position. One last set of combos. Okay? Again, another one that comes up quite a lot. Front kick, side kick, back kick. So, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because normally it comes quite a lot of space. Okay? So it's going to be right, left, right, or left, right, left, depending on which stance you're in. So, if it's easy to meet square, if I need to restrict the space, I'm going to go. One, bring it back. Two, bring it back. Three, there. Okay, and then I'll turn. You can do the same legs again. If you want to switch legs, switch legs. Because it's an odd number, you'll end up keeping the same legs when you turn. Okay?
Okay, so front kick, land, space, side kick, land nice and close, look, back kick, bring it down, turn, okay? So my right leg's back, left leg in front. So you can do this in a small space if you need to, get more space, you can go all the way across if you need to. Ready, so I'll go this side, right leg, one, front kick, side kick, back kick, turn, okay? Right leg again, front kick, land out, bring the knee across, side kick, land, back kick, down, two, and side kick, back kick, turn, three, front kick, side kick, back kick, four, one last one, front kick, side kick, back kick, turn, and I'll come back to you, I'm back. Okay, right then. So, that's the kicking combinations done. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna move on to Sardan. Okay, so, Sardan is a green belt, single tag, go to green belt, two tag, four. Is that right, my brain's, I haven't talked for a couple of weeks, my brain's, no, it's a man right now. Okay, so, it's a fairly, for you, if you just start, if you're still in the basic forms, can be a little bit complicated, but most of you have sort of seen this at some point anyway. Okay, so Sardo. We're going to go through by the count, first of all, from the back here. Okay, hopefully you can see everything's going on. Remember, the century back, the black one, okay, that is my left, so that'll be your left. Bob is my right. I will, hopefully you can see this, my watch is my left hand. So, I'm going to look to my left, so Trumby, look to my left first of all. Bring my both hands to my right hip, left foot up, out to a back stance. Remember, weight in here, hand above my head, fingers open, thumbs tucked in as well, so no more like this, or spread. Okay, now before I turn, look, both hands come down, close, and look at weight transfer. Up. Now I'm going to look to the front, I'm going to look before I move. Foot comes in, and I drive forward, X block, into a front stance. So all piggy's going to mark it, this way here, both hands on the hip, tucked in, double arm block. Now, before I move, I want to look. I'm going to be kicking this way, so I want to get my balance focused that way. I want to be here, pick my leg up, and then have to turn. I'm going to be looking, right hand down, left hand back. As this left knee comes up, I switch across. And look, I'm already half setting my foot into a pivot. Okay, so I'm looking to my left. I'm going to pivot, psych it, back fist, land. Left hand is open, pull it in, right up. So it's a slight pivot, but I'm not doing this. Okay, I don't want to lose my stance, keep the foot planted. Now I'm doing the right elbow backwards into my body. So my foot comes back, elbow, punch. Now I'm looking this way. Now I'm going to move to there. So I'm going to look from here, look, and I'm switching to the cross. Left hand right. Foot slightly pivoted, knees up, toe in front of the knee, side kick back, fist, turn, land, right hand open, pull it in, elbow. Look, right hand to my forehead. Left hand push down to my knee. Now I'm going to switch. So my right hand's going to come through, left hand's going to come up, strike to there. And that's the target. So my front kick to there. So I'm kicking, down the barrel of the gun, through, back fist. Unwind. Left leg forwards. Look this way. So hands open like I'm making a shadow bird. Grip. Rotate through. Elbows down to keep the position. Extend. Front kick. Punch right. Punch left. Now I'm going to look. Before we move, bring your foot in, right foot, right foot out, left hand in front, grip, pull it in, extend. This is going to help with my pivot of my kick. Kick, punch left, punch right. Now I've got to go from my front stance to a back stance this way here. So I'm going to chamber. Remember what we did at the beginning with back stance? Here, double arm. One, two, three. See so on your back stance? Slightly out of position then. Okay, back to the hip, out to the front stance. All toes facing forward. My shoulder height with the hands. Grip, knee, pivot, knife band. Left hands forward, look, in, knife band, back stance, there. Like all piano forms after the last move, step back, back to Jumbi. Okay, so again, so slightly less detail this time. So look, left, in and out, one. Look to my right, in and out, two. 
Look to the front, X block, three front stance. Double arm block in a back stance, four. Down, look, up. Foot's ready to go. Side kick, back fist, land, elbow, look, elbow, punch. This is left hand, I'm going to switch across my right, right foot up. Side kick, back fist, elbow, strike, right hand, strike forward, right. Front kick, roll through back fist. Unwind, left leg out, up, grip. Extend, kick right, punch right, punch left. Look, bring it in, out, grip, pull the elbows into the sides. Extend, kick, punch, punch. So left, right, look, pull it back. One, two, back stance. Three, back to and out, grip, knee, turn one, look, and turn two. Back to Chumbi. Now all I'm going to do is just count the numbers. Okay, we're going to count from one, and I believe it's 29. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Kip, play. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, hey, 30, that's too big, okay, Sarah's one of my, Sarah's my favourite piano call, so it's well worth getting down, because especially that centre sequence where you've got the side kick now, elbows, that appears in black belt form, so you get this early on, to help you a lot in the black belt stages. Right then, okay. So we're going through Sardan now. Now it's a bit fitness time. So we're gonna do the dang uh, gut brace and the color belts for our skip fitness test. So I'm gonna be where's your side looks the best. I'm gonna be this side. Okay, so just so I'm facing you, hold the leg up around us. So foot purpose to the wall, put a hand on the wall. If you've got a side to hold on to, you can. If you remember your family is very Nice, and let you hold onto their shoulders or arms or something, then you can do that. So, here's the numbers. If you are six years old and under, you're going to do 25 on each leg. So, then what this be? Foot up there, knee up, one knee up on my belt, foot turned. Okay, one, two, three, four, oh, hold it back, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 25. Then you'll switch legs, same thing on the side, one, two, three. Up to 25. Once you're done, shake it off. You want to do any extra as you can. There's no, just because I'm still going. Again, I'm rejoining you guys. Seems unfair that I'll just sit here and watch a screen do nothing for a minute. Okay, so six years old and under, 25 each leg. Six to nine year olds, 30 each leg. So I'll start jumping up. 10 to 12 year olds. So if you're 10, 11, or 12, you will do 40 each leg. 13 to 15 year olds, you will do 60 each leg. And because you guys are a little bit older, you should be able to keep that a little bit faster. 16 plus, that's all of you, all the way up to 190 years old, however old you are, okay? 100 each leg. Okay, you can start with any leg that you like, but what you've got to try and do is not put your leg down. If you put your leg down, put it down for a second, get straight back up. So you start with your legs. So I'm going to start on my left, buddy, in position. So, foot pivoted, pull your knee up, this position there, okay, you're going for 100. Just pull this in position, we'll turn around. Ready? Three, two, one, go for your number. Go. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 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 Last 10, I think. Yeah, everyone knows I'm terrible counting. Okay. I'm going to switch sides so you can see, hopefully, see me. Okay, other leg. If you're reaching the finish, stretch off, off you go. Go. 10. Put it. 
30 feet. 40. 50. 60. 1. 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 100. Okay, right, shake that up. Right then, so, get some good drink if you want one. You're allowed it. You're home. Uh, hello, Mr. Mills. How are you doing, sir? And Savages, hopefully you're all watching, joining in. Who else we've got? Master Powell. Thank you for joining me, sir. Right then. Down great fitness. The calisthenics. Two push-ups, two sit-ups, two burpees. I've got my watch set up for a timer to a minute and a half. Then downgrading, you have to do 10. If you want to do more of that minute and a half, you can. Okay, if you only want to do the 10, do the 10. If you can't get to 10, just give it your best shot. Remember, this is for a black belt. So if you're not a black belt and you get anywhere sort of six and upwards, you're doing pretty well. So two push-ups, one, Two, push back. Two sit ups. One, two, and I'm going to roll over. Two burpees. One, two. That's one set. You got to do that ten times. Ready. So, start in push up position. Time is ready. Two push ups, two sit ups, two burpees. Three, two, one, go. Two push ups. One, two, push back. Two sit ups. One, two. Again, I've got mats. One, Two, if you've got a harder floor, then just be careful switching over. That's two sets. One, two, on your back. One, two, over to burpees. One, two, push ups. One, two, sit ups, burpees. That's four. One, two, over to push, sit ups. Not push ups yet. It's five. Two push ups, one, two, one, two back, one, two, up to burpees, one, and six, four, one to go, one, two, one, two back, one, two, up to burpees, one, two, seven, one, two, again, sit up, up to burpees, one, that's eight, push ups, sit up, burpees, nine, that's one. Push it back. And then that's 10. If I'm wrong, let me know and I'll catch it up. 10 seconds left, keep going. If you're still going, keep working out. If you're trying to finish more, keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Well done. Okay. Right then, I think that's it. Cool, right. So, just before I finish off with a bit of stretching, don't forget, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Add the Facebook pages to stay up to date. And if you speak to one of the instructors, myself, Master Drayton, Master Fisher, there's also WhatsApp groups for those guys as well. Okay, I think I've added most people into mine, but if I'm not on there, uh, send me a message. Make sure you're on WhatsApp and I'll add you to the group. Okay, so I want you to do a stretch from your own time. Okay, thank you very much for joining me, guys. Again, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, ATMA Martial Arts. Good to meet you. Thanks, Sue.